Okay, so it's time to paint. First step, we're going to base it all out in black. Then we're going to dry brush this thing white from top to bottom. After the dry brush is complete, then we're going to paint all the pumpkins with a watered down orange color just to get us started. Once we got that orange color on ready to go, now it's time for some of the details. Mix a little bit of brown with some green and yellow if I believe right. Also this is watered down with water. We're going to use this kind of brown muddy color that we've made to paint the stem, to paint the arms and fingers, and then also to go down all the groove marks just to accentuate them a little bit so it makes them stand out a little bit more visually. Also take note when you're working on the grooves you'll want to take that same brown and and go all the way around each pumpkin where they connect. It just really helps it to stand out and gives a little more punch to it. Once all that's done we're just going to take a base black straight black flat black paint and we're going to come back in and paint in the eyes, the nose, nose and the mouth. That just really helps all this stand out. Now once we get done with all the black on the face and the nose and the mouth, uh, the last little bit of detail I like to do with these is kind of fun. I'll take um, some spider webbing you get from Walmart and I think it works great. I love it. So we're going to have some spider webbing, webbing that you get from Walmart or the dollar store. Basically what we're going to do is take some wood glue and a little bit of water. We're going to take wood glue, water, stir it up and we're going to add some green paint. So we're going to have this wood glue, water and green paint mixture. Then all you're going to do is tear off little pieces of your spider webbing. You're going to dip it straight down into that uh, glue paint mixture that we have. Pull the pieces out and then just start kind of putting this stringy green goop <laughs> on your pumpkin in different places. It, you don't have to do this. I just like the effect it does. It adds just a little more to it. gives it a little more to look at. Once you're finished up with this, um, Next step, you can seal it if you want. I usually do. You don't have to because these are normally for indoors. But once this little step's done, we're all finished. You got it painted and you got it detailed and you got a great looking little pumpkin snowman. Thanks for watching, guys.